you guys. Good morning. It's uh, Danielle Summerfield at Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses here, and it is um, eight o'clock in the morning on uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day. And I'm at work. I don't work there. I work um, over there. <laughs> and uh, somebody hasn't opened the gate yet, so we're all kind of just hanging out here waiting for somebody to open the gate. Um, but I wanted to do a quick little intro video for you guys. Um, because I'm going to take you to a place that I have never taken you guys before. And if you notice, there's a, a big gray thing following me. So I'm going to go to work and then in about eight hours, I will see you guys again, but it'll be like a minute, no, like a second and a half as I go through the transitions of these next scenes. So I'll see you later on this afternoon. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. There it is, you guys. I haven't been there in forever. So this is where I'm bringing you. I'll show you more in a minute. Okay, you guys. So uh, I didn't want a video while I was there because that would have been just rude because these people are so great. Um, but they used to have a sign right there. <laughs> and... Um, they're just like really super cool people. I've known these guys for quite a while. And uh, I'm gonna have to tell you, I'm still happy with these people. So, uh, I think I gave it away that I got a little something in there. I'm not gonna show you or tell you what he is until I get back to the house. But, the company is the Tar Heel Feedlot, and um, they are here in Madison, and they used to run as the Carolina Horse Sales, so they used to have auction sales here all the time, and uh, pretty much right before COVID hit, uh, they stopped. A uh, couple of people started coming in and being kind of jerky about it, and she just wasn't going to tolerate it. She says, you know, you want to bring your junkie horses here, go to you know, feed lots down in Texas or bring them to New Holland, Pennsylvania or something like that. But, you know, she wanted, she wanted to make a name of herself and to let everybody know that she has quality horses. So, um, a lot of people didn't like that. You know, when, when you bring a horse in and you look at it and go, Hey, I don't want it because you know, it's sick, skinny, you know, really sick or something lame you know it's, that's your name on the line you know you don't want to be known as as a junkie horse trader so uh, she's always had really good horses not super high 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 quality horses but you know you know you good good rainers and your cattle you know the ones that are pretty much done for you know one job but is certainly young enough to be trained for another job so that's where I got Jarvis and uh, you know, he's he's just been the, the biggest unicorn I have ever had. So, when I saw this guy, um, you know, I just couldn't say no. So, I'm going to stop this here right now so I can drive home. I got a good hour drive. And uh, I'll see you guys in probably about a second and a half while I do my transitions into the second clip. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Well, look at here. Husband's not home and I still don't have to park the truck, but I did get it stuck. So um, I'll show you guys later. Well, this is my neighbor. That's his trailer. And uh, he's going to go in the ditch there. And uh, that's pretty cool. He's going to park the trailer for me. That way I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Thank you. <laughs> it is never quiet around here. <laughs> he can, oh, there's a horse fly bugging around. So, um, yeah, he can back a trailer up into the driveway, but, oh, horse fly. But he can't, he can't park it. <laughs> so, it is late. I've got to take care of the, the dogs. i got to feed them. Uh, let's go visit the chicks really quick, because um, I think they need food. And they should be okay with water. But uh, let's see what we got over here. Whew, what a day. What a day. Hi, baby. 
All right, let's see these little baby chicks. Let's see what they're doing. Hi, baby chicks. Look at that one on top of the water. What are you doing up there? Silly. You guys want some water? Hi. All right, let's get them some water and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, I have my phone now, um, and I want to show you, ta-da, <laughs> there he is, there he is. So this, from here, you can't really tell too, too much, but um, at the feedlot, they called him Biggs, which is kind of silly. I think I'm going to name him Friday. Yeah, Jarvis and Friday. I don't know, but... Um, it's uh he he's uh i think 13 or 17 years old 17 hands high and he's a black percheron but he's very skinny so he says very skinny he's a very sad guy he um he's got moon eye it's not too bad he's got a moustache yes don't eat my phone don't eat my phone he's got a moustache <laughs> so that's gonna be fun in the winter he's gonna grow <laughs> no you can't have it um he's got this really super kind face but as you can see he's very very skinny so i am very familiar with skinny minis and uh his feet are pretty good hi i know and he seems to be pretty okay um he i think he actually rolled in here i had to keep him in here I think he rolled. He did. Look at that. He rolled right there. Oop. <laughs> he is blind on this side. Can't quite see. Got hay in him. Hi. Hi, darling. So I've got some things here to take care of the gunkies out of his eye. And then... He's your good boy. <laughs> yeah. And he's got all these like cool little swirlies. He's got one just like Jarvis right here. Um, and then we're going to... can't wait to take this off. Ugh. And uh, I've got Darcy's vitamin shot, so I'm going to give him a vitamin shot. Yes, I am. The little moustache. Tickle, tickle. But first things first, we're going to give him a bath. <laughs> you ready for a bath? You ready? No. But he's got a, a really nice neck, and it'll look good when he fills out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is your new home. <laughs> so I'm going to set you guys up in the wash bay over here. And, um, is that the wrong one? Yep, apparently that's the wrong hose. <laughs> I better go fix that. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys.
some Quest Plus. Um, well, it's this Strongoid. It's it's like Quest Plus, but it's a little bit different. Um, this one. Oh, there we are. Twelve hundred pounds. One full syringe. So we're gonna give this to him. We're gonna see how well he he does with the. Uh, Very, very well. I'm extremely impressed with him. Took the whole tube. And uh, I think we're going to let him out. I have some food waiting for him. But uh, let's let him out for a little bit and uh, see what happens. I know I can see. There we go. Nice roll. <laughs> so weird having another black horse around, especially after Darcy just passed. He's had a long day. Hmm, he gets up pretty good. No shake afterwards, but <laughs> let's go get his food. Welcome back, you guys. <laughs> I know it's the same video. Well, Anyway, welcome back. Oh, he did bring up a bucket. Oh, good. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I had to uh, get his dinner ready. So, uh, what do you guys think? He's skinny. Um, today at work, some of my coworkers were asking about whether or not um, I found a pony. I think I did, I found a big pony. And, um, I found some pictures of Jarvis when we bought him eight years ago, and this is the two of them side by side. So, um, let's go check him out, see where he's at. Oh, he's way over there. Oh, poor guy. I think we might bring Jarvis home sooner. Oop, he just hit the fence. He's getting to know the fence. <laughs> he was snoozing over there. And then uh, touch the fence. Woke him up. Hi! <laughs> so let's go meet him, shall we? He's like, you gave me a bath yesterday. You're the one. You made me stand in those things. What you doing? He's got decent confirmation, so if you can imagine what he's going to look like when uh, he fills out. Because he's so skinny. Look at those ribs. He's like, yeah, I'm not going to go hang out in the sun. Yeah, you got that right. Let's go hang out in the shade. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Mr. Moustache. I call you Mr. Mistopheles. Mr. Mistopheles was um, a Jericho cat in the theater cats not well he was in the movie too but hi well you want to come over here and say hello come on that's a good boy hi he's like yep i'm gonna come over and i'm gonna walk away <laughs> he likes to nip at the long grass. He prefers the long grass, where Jarvis would much rather eat the short stuff. He'd rather eat the long stuff. 
Well, heck, I probably shouldn't have mowed the other pasture then. Would have put him out on that. And he could have eaten the long grass. Every horse is different. You never know what they're going to be until you get them on there. <laughs> so, that's him. And, um, we was thinking about bringing Jarvis back uh, soon. So he has a, a friend being half blind and apparently shocking himself a lot at the fence. <laughs> um, I think a friend would be a nice, nice thing for him, um, especially to get to know the pasture and everything. Um, I'm not really sure. I, I don't want to bring him home yet because it took Jarvis about a week and a half to show um, any type of sickness or anything. So I think what I might do is Jarvis will stay there for the weekend and um, we'll just have some bonding time with him. And I hate to have him be by himself because he was with other horses at the feedlot, but um, I'll be working from home the next couple of days. So every time I have to get up to go to the bathroom or something like that, I'll come out here and give him a little pat and let him know that I'm here. You certainly can't see me on this side. <laughs> certainly blind on that side. But he can hear me. He can hear what I'm doing. But uh, he's going to take a while to get his weight up. Um, he's about eight, 800 pounds, 900 pounds too light. But we had a wormer yesterday. Yes, we did. And um, poor guy. Oh, he just looks like he's in terrible shape. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you back to have... Oh, can't zoom. Hi. Hello. What have you been doing? Can you scrape yourself? No, not so bad. See that eye? Oh, he can see a little bit out of it. He can see a little bit out of it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What a good boy. Oops, sorry you guys. It's not weepy and I do have something for it if I want to. But look, now you can get a good good look at that moustache. Oh. Say hello. <laughs> but um, I brought this towel out so I'm going to rub it on him and pet him a little bit. Wipe him down. Get my scent on it. Get his scent on it. And, uh, yeah, look at that. That was a collar, an ill-fitting collar mark. And, um, that way, uh, Jarvis can start smelling him. He got a little sunburned, a little bit here. But we can, um, give him another bath. I bought that medicated shampoo. And, um, yeah, he's got a really bad diet. I think he'll look good when he, because this is, like, old hair. I don't know, he's just got... Crappy. Crappy coat. He's got a terrible coat. But a little bit of flaxseed, a little bit of oil, a little bit of good diet, no sugar. He's probably eating nothing but corn and whatever. Um, a little bit of all that and I think he'll be okay. I think he'll be okay. Let's work on the other side, shall we? Yeah, this side's just as bad, huh? But I hear lots of gut sounds. Can you hear it? I don't think you can hear it. I can hear it. So he's got a little flaky skin up here. So the um Poor guy. Look, he's got like no nothing down here. I mean, this this has nothing. All that. Ugh. Right, sweetheart? Let's see. Yep. Just like Jarvis. So I'm going to take some pictures and, uh, Get the same angles as I did with Jarvis. 
Yeah. Yeah, you got a yeah, a little bit goopy eye. So he needs some vitamins. He's got a little bit of a goopy eye. And uh is that a tick? I think that's a tick. Is that a tick? <laughs> Do you see yourself? Yeah, I think that's a tick. We'll have to get that too. Alright, so uh, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to continue rubbing on him a little bit. I'm going to do some bonding. And um, yeah, and I'll be right back. So, uh, I was able to really get over him today. Um, last night being really kind of dark. Uh, it's hard to see in the fluorescent light. But he's going to need several baths with uh, medicated shampoo to, to calm his flaky skin. He's probably very itchy. Um, and he's got a little bit of rain rot on his butt. They probably clipped him before he went to the auction because he was really disgusting. So, I have some food right waiting for him. Let's go get his food in. Um, I have some electrolytes in there to kind of rehydrate him a little bit. And uh, those vitamins, whoo, I am so glad I looked that up. <laughs> I thought they were vitamins. No, that was horse tranquilizer. <laughs> so apparently when a horse gets stressed out because of pain or whatever, you give him the horse tran tranquilizer and the banamine. Yeah, well, I'm glad I didn't give it to him. Oh, that would have been awful. We probably would have killed him. All right, so... Let me get food, and again, I'll be right back. Don't mind my hair. <laughs> get his food, and as I'm walking out to the tree, there's going to be a little friend. Hello, Mr. Black Snake. How are you? These guys are good to have around. Not so good to have in your chicken coop, but they're good to have around. Come on, come and get your supper. He's like, I don't know. Come on, come get your supper. He's thinking about it. Come on. It's supper time. Come on. Come here. Come on, come get your supper. Oh, the snake's going the wrong direction. Alright, snake. You're going the wrong way. You can't go that way. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go the other way. Go on. I got perks on. Go on. Go the other way. Go on. Keep on going. <laughs> I would have picked him up, but come on. Hurry up. Go on. I don't want him to go towards the, the house. You can stay out this way. Go on. Go on. <laughs> go on, little snake. Go on. There. There's better things for him in there anyway. Come on! Oh. Alright, let's go get him. There we go. I backed away from it so he knew that I wasn't going to guard it because I just want to make sure that he understands. There you go. Good boy. He might not be hungry yet. <laughs> he might have a little bit of an upset tummy from all this food, but we don't give him a lot during every time. What do you think? What do you think? There's like electrolytes and all sorts of fun stuff in there. That's a good boy. He says, I'm not used to it. There, good boy. <laughs> These little flies, little flea flies and gnats are driving them crazy, so I'll come out and bring out just a tiny bit of fly spray. Make them a little bit more comfortable. What you think? Sit here with you.
What do you think? Is it okay? What are you thinking? He's not eating with as much gusto as he did before. So let's go off and um, let him be for just a minute. And I want to see uh, what his poops look like. So we're going to let him be for just a minute. I'm going to let you eat, okay? I'll be right back. Well, poop number one. That's a pretty good size. Not too bad. Poop number two is over here. So we always want to count the poops every morning, if you can, um, since I put them out overnight. Yeah, that one's a little bit more of a mess of a, ma of a pile, but that's okay. I did give him wormer. There's another one. I don't think that was Darcy's. Pretty sure we got rid of all of his. But um, I want to... That one's kind of recent, but I don't see any bots or anything in it. And I don't see any worms. But that doesn't mean that it didn't happen. All right, let's uh, go look for another one. Here's an, ooh, here's another one. That doesn't look too bad. Could look better, but you know, stress. Nope, no worms or no bots or anything in there, so it's not bad. There's the one that is really, I knew that would happen. That would probably happen last night. And same with this one. Um, this probably all happened last night after his bath and after his warmer. That's pretty mucky. Same with this one here. That was probably the beginning. <laughs> but, um, and this one over here. So he's been back here all night. Um, instead of being up in the barn. No, no worms or anything in there. Sorry guys, I don't mean to be showing you poop, but... You know, it's one of those things that you really kind of need to pay attention to. I need a stick. I need to, I don't want to poke that one with my finger. Let's find a stick. So, you want to, when you get a new horse, you want to look at their poop. Because their poop is going to really tell you what they've been eating and what kind of parasites they have. What kind of stress they're under and, and so forth. And... Poop, that's, I mean, this is just like grass. It's all grass hay. There's no bugs or no worms or nothing in here. There's no corn because they can't digest corn very well. You'll see pieces of corn and there's no oats. Oats will kind of be in there too. Um, and I don't see any oats. These are actually pretty fresh. So these weren't overnight. These were kind of recently. And he was standing here. <laughs> I think that one is... Uh, he was standing here when, yeah, see, that's nasty wet. Ooh, that's the one he's got diarrhea on his leg. I noticed that it hit his leg. But that's probably why he's not eating with gusto. I think this was probably earlier from last night. All right, well, I'm okay with that. Um, apparently, he has walked away from his bucket. He's not 100% hungry. So I'm okay with um with those poops. There's what? How many did we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's another one over there. Eight. There's another one over there. Yeah. I'm going to say eight or nine, which is not bad. There's another one. That's, well, those two nine so he's been here for let's see I, I turned him out about 10 o'clock last night so 10 to 10 is 12 hours there should have been six poops um and then it's now been 10 11 12 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 so it's like seven eight hours later uh, so Six and four, so that's ten poops, so that's about right. We got ourselves a poop a, a poop every two hours. I'm okay with that. I am very okay. So now we'll just end up, um, I'll bring the harrow and the scooper out, and I'll get rid of all these poops over here in the woods or something. And then uh, we'll count again tomorrow, because basically the first 24 hours is like 
the hardest because they're stressed from the traveling trip and I see you <laughs> and they're just really stressed out so he didn't eat hardly at all he's probably not very hungry I'm gonna put this up at the barn that way he still has it or I just might leave it out under the tree or something um, it looks like he's gonna take a nap anyway he's breathing a little hot so he's probably really super hot and I think I'm gonna start putting him on Darcy's percent I'm gonna put give him like half half a pill and see what happens because he's breathing a little bit heavier than he should be um, and uh, what you doing over there honey and um, that's how Darcy was when we first brought him here he was all a little barrel chested which is what he is and Darcy was all spotty like that but I'm gonna attribute a lot of this to like poor nutrition but experience has told me he probably has Cushing's even clipped so I think uh, tonight I will I'll put this back into um, I'll just put it out somewhere keep the flies out of it and then I'll give him a percent and uh, see if we can get him to perk up a little bit although he does look like he's gonna take a nap <laughs> so time to go visit Jarvis we're gonna bring this with us and we're gonna go visit Jarvis and see what he thinks about his smell and that way when we bring him home he'll kind of theory he'll know the smell <laughs> theory but all right, let's go over to Ben and Barbara's house. Oh, so I'm at a, I gotta stop saying so at the very beginning. Okay, I'm here at Ben and Barbara's, <laughs> as you can see by the silos behind me. And uh, just like when you're bored, you gotta go get your horse. Hi, bud. I brought the rag and of course our bleach and, and all that stuff. This is the first time I've actually been down here. To see what their pasture looks like it's really nice it's got some really good thick grass down here this is kind of this is really nice it's a lot longer than our grass <laughs> you are so spoiled dude you don't even look like you want to come home so he'll probably stay here at least to the weekend um, I'm gonna talk it over with them I don't I don't want to intrude because they're being really good about letting me keep him here and you know, I know how it is when you have a border, you know, it kind of does disrupt your life a little bit, but you know, they're our friends and I'm sure they don't mind me visiting, but you know. Hi! Hi, donkey! Hello! Hello! Hi! Hi, donkey! Hi, donkey! Hi, sweetheart! How are you? You're gonna come all the way up and say hi to me? Hi. I know I love you guy. You're just the cutest I know. I don't have any treats for you today. No. Oh. Oh, I got some donkey lovin's. I know, I know, I do. I got some donkey lovin's. Oh, and here comes trouble. <laughs> Hi. Okay. So look what I got. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. Hi. I missed you too. Oh, you're super hot. Oh, and you got a little. Ugh. Why? How you doing? Hi. I missed you. What do you think, huh? What do you think? It smells funny, huh? It's a different smell. This is going to be your pal. Yeah? Good boy. Yeah. This is going to be your pal. Really, donkey? <laughs> yep. He doesn't seem to mind. He says, yep, okay. Yep. He says, I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Oh, I know. I miss you, too. 
I miss you too. And of course I brought his, his stuff to do his feet. So I'll do that. He's got to check that out. He is very hot and sweaty. It's like 80, 90 degrees earlier today. Right, donkey? You're just the cutest. You are cute. Okay, well, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy um, some donkey lovin's. Oh, he's like, scratch me. This is all. I just want some lovin's. They know. So I'm going to get some donkey lovin's. And I'm going to give some donkey lovin's. And um, then I'm going to have a, a little bit of a water drink with Ben. Yes, I am. And um, I'm going to go back home and call an afternoon. What do you say, huh? Yeah? Don't you like that? You're going to stay here, though. Thank you for watching out for my friend. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Donkeys are the best. They know. And they'll also bite too, but he doesn't. No. He knows. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. And uh, another update on Summerfield Farm and uh, these big guys. Scratch horses. <laughs>